Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and you may know that I've created a simple flat pack camping stove called the Rocket King, which you can see burning here behind me. And I launched this product on Kickstarter with the help of supporters there. And I promised them I would do some simple how-to videos here on the YouTube channel to show them how to use their new stoves. So in just a minute, I'm going to show you the simple tip for lighting the Rocket King. But first, I thought you'd be interested to see the final steps that I put on each stove before I ship it to Amazon. Even though the stoves come out of the laser functionally finished, they still need one final touch. The laser cutter process and the handling of the parts afterwards can leave some scratches and blemishes in the shiny stainless steel. My stove is not the least expensive out there, and so I want the level of finish to fit the customer's expectation of excellence. So each Rocket King gets a brushed finish by hand. Right now, it's my hands doing the work. This removes the light scratches and blemishes and gives the stove a more consistent finish and refined look. Then, the stove parts go in their custom-made bag with the directions, a sticker, and a stake. Then they get bagged, coated with their Amazon number, and boxed for shipment. If you are interested, I'll put the link to the stove on Amazon below. Now, here's a simple tip to make lighting the Rocket King a breeze. One of the things I improved in the prototyping process was the ability to light the stove. And actually, that's what the cutouts are K are for on the front. Not only is it going to give that side of the stove a little more air, which will help with vortexing, but it also allows you to get a match through or a lighter through without blowing it out. So, let me show you how that's done. Start out by arranging my fuel from smallest to largest. To start my fire, I'm going to use a piece of newsprint. I'm going to take that, fold it in half, and then twist it up. Then I'm going to place it into the stove with this end just inside the R. And bend it over in an arch. Then with my smallest twigs, I'm going to build a fire around the paper. I'll begin adding slightly larger twigs and a few of the largest. To me, the ideal size for your largest sticks is going to be slightly larger than a pencil and no larger than a finger. All right, once the firebox is about this full, then it's time to light it. A stick lighter like this works really well, but you can also light it with a match. A little blowing can help to get the airflow going. And now we got the flames going. We'll just continue to feed that fire as it gets bigger and burns down. All right, that's just how easy it is to light the Rocket King. Our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for a new DIY video almost every Friday.